Index card of day number 58, Never Regret, by Creative Katie, Karen Birchell. Thank you to those of you that are subscribers. If you're not, it's not too late. Hit the subscribe button and you won't miss videos. So I'm applying a layer of Artist Loft metallic gold paint. And as you can see, it's pretty translucent. What I end up doing is stopping, drawing, and then adding another layer to build up so I get a good solid gold color. If you continue to play with the paint, it tends to get kind of clumpy and you won't get a good effect. So the best thing to do is let it dry and apply another layer. So this is Demco Crackle Medium. And this is the very first time that I've used it. And I'm applying a pretty good layer of it and I'm applying it with palette knife. I like how that goes on. It says to leave it for 30 to 60 minutes. I left mine for 30 minutes and it was perfectly dry. It wasn't tacky to the touch. Now I'm getting ready to apply the next layer of acrylic paint and I'm using the Dilutions black paint and I'm thinning it a little bit because you need to be able to put it on in one single swipe or brush stroke. If you touch it up, you're going to muck up the crackle effect. So once I think I get it to the right consistency, I brush it on. Now this part of the video is I left at normal speed real time so that you can see just how quickly the crackle effect takes place and there you have it before I even finish the card the other layer two two strokes are already crackled I was so impressed with this it worked way faster and way more crackle than the other crackle medium that I used before So I'm letting this dry to see if it's going to crackle or widen the cracks. And it really didn't as it dried. Pretty much what you got pretty much instantaneously stayed that way. Here's a good close-up of all that crackle yumminess. You do get a lot of the gold peeking through. I can't wait to try this with other colors. I had these butterflies, they were free printables that I had printed off and they were in my stash. So they just seemed to be, be the perfect fit for this background. And as my idea that I had simply just went out the window because it wouldn't look as good on the background, I went with this. I know butterflies are done a lot, but you can't miss. So I'm looking through some of my sentiment stamps to see what kind of quote I can put on here. Because of the crackle, I didn't want to use my pen and just do it freehand. And since I couldn't decide which, stamp, which quote to put on, I, do, I stamp both. And the one that I don't use goes back in my stash to be found at a later date and used on a different iCAD or index card or journal page. I decide to use the quote, never regret anything that made you laugh. So I'm just cutting it off to make it fit in the card with the butterflies. Very simply, I'm just centering it down the middle. Nothing too fancy here. Before I put gel med put the glue them down with gel medium, I'm using the ink pad to edge the papers. I don't always do this, but because the background was black, I thought it was necessary and I wanted that little bit of edging. I should have let that dry though, because when I do apply the gel medium, I do get some smudging that I have to touch up. The other thing that I found is that the um, 
black paint after the I, that I put on top of the crackle medium. It's a little gummy, and so I didn't want to disturb it, so I ended up just putting the the gel medium on the backs of the words and the butterflies, and trying not to touch any of the other part of the card. So giving that a good dry. And I love how the matte medium takes any glossiness off the butterflies. Sometimes you want it glossy, sometimes you don't. So I decided to use my Stabilo All Pencil and activate it, but I again, I'm finding it a little gummy as I press into it, and I don't want to disturb that wonderful crackle effect. So I just end up touching my wet brush to the tip of the Stabilo All Pencil. There's always more than one way to do something. Of course, I could have weighed it and let it dry properly, but I'm not the patient one. So I'm really liking how this is looking. It just really came together well. I love when a card or page does that. It doesn't happen all the time. And you've seen some of my videos where I've definitely fought a battle to get to the end result. I'm just lining, outlining the, the card with my Secura Jelly Roll Gold. I'm trying to put the antenna on the butterflies with my Posca pen, black. Later, off camera, I decide to use my Secure Gold Pen, and that, that really worked well. And you can actually see it on the background. Outlining with my Micron Pen, decide I want to make the word laugh a little bit bolder. And then I'm going to outline it with my Gold Secure Jelly Roll Pen. And a little sketchiness around the words. There you have it, my finished iCAD. Never forget anything that made you laugh. I hope you enjoyed this video and like the end result as much as I do. Thank you so much for joining me on the Index Card a Day journey. Hard to believe, but there's only three more iCADs to go.